Alrighty, let's take a look at this question. So we have the differential equation. I'm just going to separate that derivative into dk on the left side and move the dr over to the other side so the variables of r are all together. And then we are going to integrate both sides. Now the left-hand side, when you integrate basically 1 with respect to k, you get k. And on the right-hand side, a little bit harder, but not undoable. Like, we can integrate r plus 2 squared without actually doing u substitution because the derivative of the inside is just a 1. So um, we would go r plus 2, increase your exponent to a 3, and divide by your new exponent. Now, since there's a 3 in front, it would be like 3 divided by 3, which would just turn into 1. So we can just write that as 1, or not at all. Um, and then if the derivative of the inside was constant, you would divide by the derivative of the inside of that as well. But the derivative of the inside is just a 1, so we don't need to really show dividing by 1. Okay, so it's really just that with plus c on the end. Now, to figure out what c is, we use the initial conditions that were given, that when... Uh, r equals negative 1, k equals 3. So we're going to sub that in. 3 for k, negative 1 for r, and we solve, simplify that to get 1 cubed, which would be 1, plus c, and then move the 1 over to get c equals 2. And then we just sub that into our equation, k equals r plus 2 cubed, and then plus our c value of 2. And there we go. That would be our original equation that they gave us the derivative for. Alrighty, I hope that helped.